It appears that silence really is golden. A 24-carat security blanket that can be snapped up using the right connections and a big bag of swag. The disgraced former co-host of ITV's This Morning, Philip Schofield is said to be currently enjoying his Cornish fish and chips in peace, savoring every mouthful now they are not wrapped with a wad of greasy newspaper bearing his own face. In a matter of days, the whole torrid business has seemingly disappeared from the headlines and the whole affair looks to have been swiftly swept under the rug, faster than the blink of an eye. Former bestie, Holly Willoughby has taken a trip to B&Q to purchase another roll of wallpaper to cover the cracks in her previously relatively untarnished image and the very vocal celebrities that were so eager to cast their judgment on the shamed ex-presenter are now finding that their mouths are slowly but surely being gaffer taped shut. Instead of the ashen-faced Philip and sickly sweet grinning Holly splashed across the front pages, a non-story was featured on the top spot of Sunday's rags. It has also been alleged that several YouTubers have been contacted by legal representatives, having what should be a right to air their own opinion on anything that is already in the public domain, swiftly removed and their videos wiped off the face of the earth. Blink a hole wonders when this crackdown that is so often applied to the innocent bystander, will apply to the super rich. How long is this nonsense going to carry on? Allowing the culling of our free speech in favor of the dollars stuffed inside a back pocket. Never mind cracking down on the general public and the so-called conspiracy theorists, who by the way are more often right as opposed to wrong. Never mind cracking down on those trying to out the bad people of this world, how about allow us work toward a world free of corruption and lies in which truth-tellers have no fear of reprimand. What would that world look like? If only truth and real justice prevailed? There would be millions of open-eyed and horrified people justifiably hell-bent on serving a punishment of their own, that's what would happen, and of course, they can't have that can they? Absolutely not, and so it remains that the powerful and wealthy continue to cover their sordid tracks using their elite connections and healthy bank balances by purchasing their own special magic shield so that they can carry on with their dastardly deeds. When we open a newspaper these days, what do we actually see? When we switch on a television set what is actually being shown? Is it the truth? Or, is it a fiction that has been, twisted and molded into a version of it to pacify the masses? No doubt they have a good laugh at us, surmising that we don't have two brain cells to rub together. Sorry to tell you, but I'm afraid we do. As each day passes, more and more of us are sussing it all out. We are seeing right through the veil of deceit and they know it. Their fear of the general public is a growing concern for them. We no longer accept what we are told like good little sheep, and that incenses them and it shows. They want to punish us for not stepping back in line, for not believing the lies tripping off their tongue. Get back in your box, who gave you the right to have an opinion and a voice of your own. Blinkerhole, over the years, has researched many cases, not just the Philip Schofield scandal, but also Madeleine McCann, Jill Dando, the Chris Watts case, Nicola Bully, Claudia Lawrence, Susie Lamp Lou to name but a few and we've found that they all have something in common. They were all high profile, all on the front pages of every newspaper on the stand, their dramatic story on every television channel, documentaries made about them left right and center, all talked about in every living room in the nation and indeed the world, all never forgotten and all ruminated over by truth seekers, armchair detectives and joke blogs alike for in some cases, decades. Why? That is the only question that requires an answer. Why are these cases the ones that keep us awake at night, raising more questions rather than answering which in turn, forces us to do the very thing they ask us not to do, speculate? The real truth is, is that most people have forgotten about something very important. It resides inside all of us. A gift, if you like, called a gut. A subconscious second brain that has been repressed and ignored by many of us for years. But, the upshot is, it is never wrong. You are not wrong, we are not wrong. It's easily identifiable, it's that feeling that something is not quite right. And here's the thing, more often than not, that feeling is the first stepping stone that will take you on the long and winding road to the truth, but only if you listen to it. Perhaps you carry an uneasy feeling about something around with you for several days. Then you might tell someone else about it and they instantly dismiss you. You must be crazy or mad, they might say and you decide to keep your thoughts on the subject to yourself. You switch on the television and that person's opinion, the one who shut you down is confirmed. 
Perhaps you were wrong after all, you think to yourself. Feeling alone, you doubt yourself and that little voice inside your gut gets distracted by the escapades of reality TV stars and a barrage of other mind-numbing nonsense and you decide to just get on with your day, forget about it and carry on with your life. Dumbed down and gone from your once inquisitive mind, is that initial gut reaction you had, in fact, it disintegrates completely and then you have reached the crucial point, the place where you need to make a decision. Do you trust yourself? Which side of the fence would you rather be on? The side where the grass appears rosier and has a flock of sheep wearing blinkers, grazing on the overpriced toxic grass, not knowing why they feel sick, but generally happy to carry on eating it. Or would you rather be on the dark side, fighting against those who want to devour the sheep? The problem is, for the elite, is that gut reaction doesn't disappear in some. Those people continue with their quest to battle on the dark side, to get to the root of the matter, to the heart of it all, the honest truth and we ask questions. Uncomfortable questions. Day after day, night after night, we plod on, gaining traction, inching closer, becoming relentless in our pursuit, which is invariably when we hit the brick wall. You see, some cases are high profile for a reason. In fact, in our experience the more high profile a case is, the more it is suspect. The real and true cases in the world are not splashed all over the newspapers, nor our television sets, they are simply forgotten about, inching down the pages, rubbing shoulders with the small print. So the real 24 karat question still remains. Why? Why are the cases such as Madeleine McCann, Jill Dando, Claudia Lawrence, Susie Lamp Lou and Nicola Bully so special? In Blinkerhole's opinion, the reason is that the little voice inside our gut is still not satisfied with the information we've been given. That is why the true cases disappear and these ones keep on mystifying us for years. For the people getting to the truth in those cases, however usually means that we have to choose to silence ourselves. And that is the reason why cases like these remain unsolved. Thousands of hours of work down the proverbial plug hole, because we find something that is so big, so unbelievable that even if we told someone, they wouldn't believe it, but you see, that is exactly what they bank on. In the old days, telling truths resulted in being falsely imprisoned, relegated to an asylum for the mentally insane, lobotomized, or strapped to a ducking stool and called a witch, the list of potential ramifications went on and on. It's been happening to truth-tellers for centuries and it is still happening now. There are bad people out there, doing very bad things, we are ruled by them. A handful of people with more wealth and power than the masses. Every aspect of our lives controlled and manipulated, our minds filled with nonsense and for what? So that they can get their own way. So that they can have their fun and feed their own selfish demons. It's surely time for these people to take a long hard look at themselves in the mirror and ask themselves what they are doing. Being a good, kind, decent and respectful human being to others can bring them countless rewards in life if only they would choose to step out from the dark side. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only.